Deep in the heart of Southeast Asia, there lurks an incredibly venomous snake. Equipped with venom glands that can sometimes stretch over three feet in length, it employs the use of an incredibly potent venom to essentially kill its prey immediately upon contact. But what would that same venom do to us? This snake, being in a lapid, is a close cousin to some really dangerous snake species, like the King Cobra in Inland Taipan. But how deadly is this snake to us humans? There are some who postulate that they can cause near instant death in one bite. But there are others who claim that people receive these bites and remain relatively unharmed. What's the truth? Well, I'll have to travel deep into the jungle and find one to answer that question for myself. Why? Because that's what I'm all about. My name is Jack, and I've dedicated my entire life to traveling all over the globe on the hunt for the strangest and deadliest creatures alive. I'm willing to get in close where others wouldn't dare in order to uncover and share the truth about even our most dangerous and misunderstood creatures. Now tonight, we're hot on the trail of the Malaysian blue coral snake, and it didn't take long into our night hike for our team to find one slithering along the bank of a stream. We were ecstatic. So do you want to do a video with this one, Jack? Yeah, Is this good enough for you? Yeah, definitely good enough for me. Here, get pictures of me. <laughs> My God. <laughs> to see a snake like this in the wild is every snake lover's dream. And to finally have in hand one of these spectacular animals was truly a dream come true. Let's meet the Malaysian blue coral snake. Oh my God. Okay, so uh, we weren't able to film the capture, but we have something especially amazing in this bag here. I'm gonna tump it out for you all to see. Come take a close look. Oh my gosh. Seriously, a dream come true. Let's take a look at this animal. Wow. Take a look at that, folks. This is the Malaysian blue coral snake, Calliophus bivergatus. And this was easily one of our biggest targets for our trip here to Southern Thailand. This is an absolutely spectacular snake species. These are super venomous elapids and they're feeding primarily on other snakes. But take a look at the colors here. Gorgeous dark blue on the top, some kind of sky blue stripes down the sides and of course, a bright red underbelly. These are some of the more gorgeous and spectacular snakes that you can encounter here in Southeast Asia. And we are so excited that we've actually been able to find one. Look at this animal. I mean, it's a marvel. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Now, Calliophus bivergatus, the Malaysian blue coral, is an obligate snake feeder, which is likely why it develops such a fast-acting cytotoxic venom. You see, this snake doesn't just feed on small, defenseless, non-venomous snakes. No, baby king cobras and other such venomous snakes fall prey to these snake hunters regularly. While those venomous snakes might have some resistance to neurotoxic venom similar to their own, they are defenseless against the paralyzing cytotoxic venom of the blue coral. These blue coral snakes are also fairly slim and somewhat fragile, so their potent venom helps them to effectively kill prey quickly that could be of significant danger to them normally. Look at that! I mean, this is a gorgeous snake. Absolutely spectacular. Oh, let me just sit down for you. Take a look at this snake. Oh, easy killer. I want to try and keep this guy as comfortable as I can. Just walking him his way up my hands here. Look at this snake. I don't want to take a bite. Um, there's a little bit of debate on just how venomous these snakes are, um, but uh, 
I'm going to play it safe and assume that uh, these just might be among some of the more toxic species in Thailand. Um, of course, those beautiful colors are absolutely spectacular. Okay, there he goes. Calm down a little bit. The Malaysian blue coral snake is often surrounded by a fair bit of controversy. In my opinion, they have one of the most dangerous bites in the snake world. But there are many who would disagree. You see, there's a bit of a disconnect between their venom and some of their bite reports. Malaysian blue coral snake venom contains calliotoxin, which is a three-fingered toxin that works to interrupt cellular communication in muscle and nerve cells via the sodium channels. Once injected, the venom works nearly instantly to disrupt sodium channels and essentially keeps them flipped on. Now, what this does is it can lead to rapid onset of tetanic or excitatory paralysis in the victim. Basically, immediate paralysis followed very quickly by death. Now, an adult blue coral snake can inject a fair bit of venom, certainly enough to kill a human quite quickly. But how often does this actually happen? There have been a few confirmed fatalities by Calliophis bivergatus, but the few we have do involve quick deaths. A five-year-old boy was documented being bitten on the thumb around 70 years ago in Malaysia and subsequently died two hours after the envenomation. However, another man was bitten in 1985 and he was bitten twice on his feet and died within five minutes. Now that is very quick for a snake envenomation. Absolutely spectacular. We were jumping up and down <laughs> when we found this. It was just such an amazing surprise. Uh, we were really hoping for these snakes, but we knew once again that they can be difficult to find um, in their natural habitat here in Southeast Asia. Oh my gosh, this is such a beautiful snake absolutely amazing but what about the stories of people seemingly brushing off a bite from one of these snakes i've heard a few anecdotal stories of people being bitten by blue corals and nothing too crazy happens to them are they truly tanking the bite with this deadly venom and being completely fine or is something else going on in fact a few years back my buddy rupert sustained a bite from a blue coral and had some swelling and strange sensations at the side of the bite before the effects wore off and he was relatively unharmed but what could be going on well the main thing people don't generally think about when it comes to snake bites is how snakes can control the amount of venom they use in their bites these blue coral snakes have such interesting venom and such long venom glands, it's possible their venom delivery methods and behavior still needs to be studied. Perhaps they are not likely to inject venom with defensive bites, and what little residual venom is on their fangs or in their mouths is what's responsible for those more mild symptoms from those who experience a bite. Not truly a dry bite, but a bite where very little venom actually makes it into the victim's body. There may also be some locality differences. Perhaps some populations of blue coral snakes have far deadlier venoms, and because we haven't studied all of them rigorously, we've lumped them all together into one group that varies greatly in toxicity. It's hard to say for sure, but one thing is certain. We need to study these creatures in greater detail to uncover all of their mysteries. They use this powerful cytotoxic venom to almost immediately kill their snake prey. In fact, it's not at all uncommon for these animals to immediately kill juvenile king cobras and slurp them up. Uh, these are amazing, amazing, amazing snake specialist hunters. They're able to use that special venom to absolutely destroy the nervous systems and cells of their prey. These are such fantastic snakes. I mean, I can't get enough. Love, love, love this snake. Easily one of my top finds ever. This was definitely at the top of our list to see in the wild and uh, really doesn't get much better than this. Such a gorgeous snake. I mean, so cool. Wow. So we've established that these snakes have the potential, with a full venom load at least, to cause near instant death in prey and predator alike. But how likely are they to bite in the first place? 
These are shy, secretive snakes that spend their lives safe in the leaf litter in the jungles they call home. These are far from defensive animals, and they primarily rely on those bright warning colors as their first line of defense, not that venomous bite. It's likely almost all confirmed bites come from people either stepping on or picking up these snakes, which forces these animals to feel that their lives are in danger. Generally, even venomous snakes flee when they feel threatened and try to get somewhere safe and out of harm's way. Only when they are prevented from getting away will they fall back on that defensive bite to protect themselves. So where do blue corals fall in terms of defensive behavior? Well, as you can see from this video, this snake not once tried to strike or bite me. Now, this is partially because I did not let it get close enough to feel like it had this option, but this is also because of their natural secretive behavior. The snake was more confused than threatened, and so did not feel the need to become overly defensive and try and bite me. Okay, so we had a great time with this absolutely fantastic specimen. This is such an amazing and beautiful species, and I am so glad to have finally been able to encounter this in the wild. Only took two trips to Southeast Asia to get this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful species. So we thank our lovely little friend, give her a nice little kiss, and we're gonna let her go right on this beautiful riverbed. Ah, she's chasing me, she's gonna get me. Beautiful snake, it's okay, it's okay. Oh man, that is too cool. So just how deadly is the bite of the Malaysian blue coral snake? In truth, it's somewhat of a mystery. While from a venom perspective, everything points to these snakes causing near instant death should they inject venom. But many anecdotal stories seem to show a relative hesitance to do so. It's possible as shy as these snakes are in their day-to-day -day lives, they're also shy in their biting behavior. While some have mild symptoms, it's best to treat those instances as the best possible case scenario. These snakes are likely capable of inflicting lethally dangerous bites, even if they don't happen often. Luckily, these brightly colored snakes are pretty dang hard to miss, and you're not likely to run across one unless you're in ideal habitat. If I had to really break it down and rate the deadliness of this species here, I'd give it a solid 6. While the venom theoretically is some of the fastest acting deadly snake venom, their behavior and seemingly reluctant nature to inject large amounts of venom with their bites makes them less dangerous than some of their other elapid cousins. Still, these are absolutely gorgeous snakes and truly one of the most magnificent snake species on the planet. That is so awesome. Covered in leeches and ants, but I don't care. This, uh, this was such an amazing snake find. Oh, too cool. We'll let her get on her way. But uh, I just wanted to take a second and thank you all for tuning in today. Uh, I hope you had a great time learning about the fantastic Malaysian blue coral snake. I know I had a wonderful time teaching you all at home. Uh, so, sadly, friends, this is where our time comes to an end. So I just want to thank you once again for watching. Also, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and turn on post notifications uh, so you don't miss any future uploads. Buy the merch. Join our memberships. Uh, we got a ton of amazing, cool stuff, a lot of content coming your way. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I know you enjoyed this video, uh, but I digress. Thank you so much for watching. Um, this was such an amazing experience, and I'm so glad I was able to share that with you all. So, uh, I will see you next time. Take care of yourselves, and uh, I'll see you in a week.